small scale wise for this particular unit or for this particular lesson we wanted them to wanted the students to uh, look at a variety of sets of data um, evaluate that data and synthesize it and form an opinion about it okay answer high level questions unit wise um, it works within um, the purpose of our unit, get these kids to answer uh, claim and evidence-based question, argument, writing, summative assessment. So this is just one of those pieces going into that writing, going into that assessment. So um, we're trying to get them to form an opinion. So uh, that's, that's the whole part of this writing. Everything we've been doing this year is get them to develop an opinion. So that's what this is. So while we're specifically talking about the Civil War, you can apply this to any current event. Like do the costs outweigh the benefits? Or do the, I'm sorry, do the benefits outweigh the costs? Learning outcome students are going to try to evaluate uh, the impacts of war, uh, both financially and human lives, effects on society, workforce, um, gender roles, a lot of different aspects we're trying to bring into this. So, um, and then we're also trying to separate the difference, like how, was, how did it affect certain parts of the country different than the others? How did it affect families? Seeing images of dead family relatives uh, in the newspaper for the first time because photography is starting to come out. So how does this affect America's culture. Um, and then how does it play into today? Do we view war differently today because we now are seeing images on a nightly basis? Um, is that why, you know, a war support is high at the beginning, low at the end? Because people start seeing the impacts and the effects of this war that it has. So again, it goes back to the idea, I want these kids to form an opinion. We want these kids to form an opinion. You know, I think that's kind of our, not just um, my co-teachers and I, but our, our school's goal, especially in the social studies department is, um, have an opinion and defend it. I don't care what it is. I just want you to form your own opinion and defend it because so much of this, um, this age group just regurgitates what they hear. You know, whether it's teacher or family member or whatever, form an opinion for yourself and defend that, not just have follow it blindly. Formatively and uh, summatively. Formally at the end of class, um, they're going to answer that question, that big picture question, evaluate the impact of the Civil War, and they're going to have to cite two pieces of evidence from the stations that they rotate through today um, to back up their claim, back up their idea. And then at the end, they're going to write this formative or a summative assessment, the essay, um, should Lincoln have let the South secede? We know what happens, and that's maybe the easy way to do it, but it's really trying to challenge those leaders. Well, what if it happened differently? What if he lets them secede? What do we avoid? What is different? Um, Slavery is still around, but does that mean it, it will always be around? We may avoid the Civil War now if we let them secede, but does that mean war is always you know, put off? Um, and then how does that affect the global scale? Like, what, what, how's Mexico playing this? How's Cuba playing this? Does Britain come back now that we're weaker and try to attack us again? My favorite part about history is asking that, like, what if question. What if this one moment of history changes? How does it affect the long scale, the long term? Management at this point in the year is fairly built into our routine. Um, they know how to conduct themselves, they know how to pace themselves through class, what is expected of them. Um, I'll, guideline, I'll give out the guidelines and the expectations for today's specific um, lesson, but I think uh, when you write a good lesson, uh, especially something like this that has movement that involves so many different learning styles, um, behavior management is going to come very naturally. It's going to, I think it's going to require very little on my part to redirect. I'm hoping that because engagement is high, classroom management should be fairly straightforward today. So. Our essential question for the day, um, evaluate the impact of the Civil War. Um, and then try to give them some kind of hints and guiding along how does it affect the economy, how does it affect society, how does it affect culture, how does it affect gender roles, all these different things. Um, and then there's other questions in there looking at uh, Sherman's march, uh, his march to the sea and his total war campaign. Um, how did that affect the South mentally and, and emotionally? Um, because that's basically what we use today, the scorched war approach or the scorched ground approach. Uh, looking at images of, of dead human beings on the ground and in newspapers and without limbs and in the medical tents and um, knowing that those images are being shown to families for the first time, uh, having to make a prediction on how that's going to affect people, you know, so we're trying to get that higher level critical thinking, you know. 
Um, I know those are buzzwords, but that's, that's just good teaching, you know. We want these kids to think for themselves and, and get to that higher level, not just um, member and regurgitate, you know. Stations helps a lot. Anytime you can get movement in a classroom, you're going to up the engagement. Um, we're trying to hit multiple learning styles. Uh, auditory with the video, visual with the pictures, um, the reading with the, both the pictures and the data. Um, and then we'll discuss it, so you get those visual, and when we discuss, we also have a tactile advice to get those kinesthetic uh, students involved. So um, trying to hit as many learning styles as possible. It's not always easy, uh, but with stations, it's easy to build them in. So hopefully the engagement is high. I think it's meaningful in a few ways. Um, first off, academically, they're looking at different ty types of data, they're reading different kinds of reading images, they're reading data tables, they're reading um, uh, multimedia, multimedia video. Um, and then again, they're having to synthesize that and form an opinion and answer questions for those specific kinds of media. And then, and then it goes large scale, so they have to take all the, these three different kinds um, of input, all, all these three different forms of data, and then apply that to a larger context, that being the summative assessment at the end. And the meaningfulness it goes back to like forming an opinion for themselves, becoming critical thinkers, um, becoming engaged in the world around them, not just physically, but mentally as well.